is Rafi from Plugin India and yeah, we are here with Mr. Chandraka at uh, eGalaxy Motors. Uh, what we find uh, uh, Chandraka ji is that uh, there are changes coming in the uh, two-wheeler segment especially of the electric vehicles and uh, Hero Electric has changed its entire lineup and uh, can you tell us a little bit about what these trends are, what, what do you see happening? So uh, basically, I'll just summarize what are the trends, what government wants, what industry wants, and what customer wants. So government wants the vehicles to be electric; they are non-polluting, and also they want to the vehicles to be registered vehicles so that they can trace and uh, RTO and police can do their job better. Okay, and that's why they are encouraging the vehicles, electric vehicles, and also uh, they want to go for lithium ion batteries where you will get better life and you will get better speed and all this thing. Now this is from the government point and that's why they stopped the subsidy for a low speed meaning which doesn't require registration about below 25 kmph but this is the what government wants. This is trend from government. Now what OEM wants meaning the electric tools Ma manufacturers wants. The manufacturers want to they were playing in a less than one percent market now they are looking at a bigger, now Hero is 10 years in this industry and they are still one less than 1%. And they were mainly into the low speed, uh, meaning doesn't require license, lead acid. And now they are with the increasing strain and this uh, S curve is picking up. So they want to aspire to be a proper uh, uh, electric vehicle manufacturer like a petrol vehicle, where they will be selling thousands of number in per month and all this thing. And they will take a pie from that above 1% to 10%, 20% in the coming years. So manufacturers want to, doesn't want to go into low speed where people have a view that electric vehicles are toy, they don't run and all this thing. They want to change this phase. So that's why Hero stopped low, low speed and the government also not giving the subsidy. So that is the, both are on the same boat or same thinking. So they are into a high speed vehicle and they are aspiring to be a proper OEM, proper manufacturer. This is what from the uh, manufacturer point of view. Now, what is the trend from customer? So, customer is always dil mange more. Is because there is no vehicle. Because he is an end customer, he will also right. always love to get the vehicle right. charged in a less than hour. You want to vehicle to run at 200 kilometer in a one charge. You want vehicle to run at like 70, 80 kilometer. You want to run the vehicle with three, four people sitting like this. And, is and then cost is uh, lesser than petrol vehicle. This is what he looks at. Okay. So, but this is not possible immediately to p the manufacturer and are taking a mid step. They are giving the range about 100 kilometer where the vehicles cost about 90,000 rupees. For a 60 kilometer range, they are going about 50 to 60, 65,000 rupees. And the speeds are about 50, 45 to 50. Because these vehicles, as soon as you go up in a higher speed, you require a lot of energy to come from battery because you require to take care of the losses, various losses of ear drag, well as ear drag and all these things. And also you need to pump up the battery size, which puts the more cost. So other is competing like a normal petrol vehicle where 60-70 km speed and about, and that's why their cost vehicles are little bit costly. Hero is playing for a mid segment where he's saying, anyway two-wheeler people drive at about 50-60 km a day. To and why unnecessary go for higher range and all this thing? So they are limiting to that, and they have other model like uh, you can say flagship right. photon which has 100 km range. Right. So that way, uh, this they are trying to meet the customer right. requirements. Okay. But and slowly, if you can see the from last uh, now we are into this business from one year. Right. We sold about 300 plus vehicles in a while. The we right. celebrated our first anniversary right. weeks back and we sold about 320 vehicles in a year. Right. I will not say it is a good number, uh, but it is to start with, it's a better number. Almost we are selling every day one vehicle. So uh, again, talking about customer footfalls, have you seen more conversions in this past one year? Yeah. I mean, so people ask you a lot of questions. We understand there's a lot of curiosity and people come to inquire, but how many of those have actually resulted in a sale or somebody adopting this? So actually very good question, I was also willing to answer that. Right. So basically when we started about a year back uh, in November last year, the customer was coming here as a curiosity, ki what is right. new, but he was not thinking of buying it. Okay, right. And uh, then slowly market started picking up uh, and they were curious about will he get support, what will happen if vehicle fails, 
we gave the confidence don't worry we'll come there and repair you your vehicles mm-hmm. okay mean that way we gave the assurance yeah. and then after four five visits he was going the uh, the person who is decision maker he or other the person he was willing to buy he was coming then he was coming with his kids and wife and then father because he was not confident should we hit take so he was uh, bringing more people so that if his decision goes wrong at he at, le- at least he will mentally <laughs> yeah so that was the happening and we were seeing that this at least seven to eight visits were happening for one single vehicle sale and lot of questions meaning all how many uh, what will happen if this happens that happens and now slowly this question started decaying because vehicles are people are saying the vehicles and who has purchased it he is coming giving the reference and you can always see if a dealer or oem how much he loudly shouts people will believe more on the who actually used it right. so we are getting the repeat customers we have customers who have taken 15 vehicles for his business we have customer who have taken four vehicles for his entire family i want to give one customer uh, reference which uh, name is is a startup he is into the chai ke diwan is the name of the okay. firm who actually sell their actual tea ready made tea on the mo- he has a mobile apps and about 10 franchises okay. in the pune city so and and uh, the uh, chai person who has other uh, snacks also if you put the order on the app he gets the location like uh, big right. basket and all right. other amazon or e-commerce the so same panda is here but he actually delivers the chai in a 10 rupees with two biscuits and all this <laughs> and he is saying okay. this is with this vehicle only i can able to right. get some earning out of it otherwise it is very difficult so he first took one then tried two and then he has almost 15 vehicles with him So thanks to Chai Ke Devani also I want to s- communicate uh-huh. that. So with, uh, we really feel that electric vehicles are forcing uh, or al- uh, allowing businesses to think differently than what they normally do. Uh, are there any other examples that you can give us? Yeah, so that I gave one example of Chai Ke Devani and what he mentioned is a really good point that if we would have been selling this with the petrol vehicles which is a 2 rupees 50 paisa per kilometer and very frequent stops that again uh, frequent stops are there. so then mileage goes down further below he would have not done any mar- uh, profit out of it but he is making a good profit out of it and now he has more than 10 franchise in pune i'll give one more example sure. which will help you more clarify so we have one uh, pathology lab who is a doctor he is also passionate electric vehicle or other environment and all this thing he said he has about eight people to uh, right. actually they go collect the sample I mean blood and all this thing right. then they go to test that then they give the reports to doctor and they have to travel lot okay and they had a petrol vehicles okay. okay he said can i replace them with the electric i said right. this is what we are looking at so it's right. good that you are asking this question idle scenario. idle scenario so why don't you take one vehicle and try because you will get confidence and all this thing so you took one vehicle he he tried it and he said this is what i was looking at he is saving almost 150 rupees per day per vehicle wow. which was going on a petrol right okay and he is saying if i buy this in a loan now sdfc also provides loan to us to so his emi or right. what is right. the right. uh, is is lower than the so petrol right. cost right so he is actually riding at the free okay and their maintenance are very low then okay. he t- yeah and then possible. then uh, he took another now he has five vehicles right. and one more uh, we developed a gps tracking system which is exclusive to that customer we give the app access to him and the gps tracker system is inbuilt right. in the vehicle so he is able to see where is his vehicle is going right. how right. many kilometers he has traveled because earlier uh, customer was or that actual owner or the not owner driver was saying right. this vehicle is uh, got down breakdown in between Achha, it was not video. charged it is less range and when he put that gps system and he was able to see how many kilometers right. clogged from one charging point and is amazing optima such a vehicle we say 60 km it was giving 70 km in the one oh, charge yeah. this is the this is the two customer i gave and there are personal vehicle uh, meaning a family entire family has converted into electric vehicles that is another so i am happy with this that people are coming repeat that means the vehicle are so good instead of we tell these vehicles are excellent great and all this thing let us let customer let tell customers give their yeah. testimony so we are amazed to see that a totally new kind of startup a new kind of industry trend has started which is enabled purely by the presence of evs without evs these people their business model would not have succeeded so what we find uh, chandrakanti is that you've done your research you're finding out 
uh, what's what from the source and uh, we find that this one company hero electric is doing a good job of bringing uh, new technology to market uh, uh, they're trying to give the customers a big a good deal and they're not leaving them with the shorter end of the stick so to speak so customers are not the ones who suffer if something goes wrong uh, on this trend what we want to know from you is that how is the after sale service is it difficult uh, are you having too many service calls uh, what are the things that are the most prone to failure in these vehicles okay so good question actually earlier the, we had a lead acid vehicles right. uh, which has some limited life for lead acid batteries they have limited life and kvero uh, was giving one year warranty and the battery life was about 2 to 3 years and uh, the, the the range per year was degrading to a and that was real painful right. and also the charging time okay now the lithium ion batteries has a three major advantage meaning what is the main difference between lead and lithium yeah. is one is the weight is one third right. is the weight That's charging time is half right. then uh, your uh, what do you say discharge rate is right. or the power you get is better higher series higher series about 3c yeah. against one better one and half say better power and all this thing and the basically the long lasting is the one of the, the lifespan of the battery lifespan of the battery is about 4 to 5 years uh, that is the three major the only drawback is that cost Right. but cost upfront is cost is, upfront cost is high but it is going down and that's why government is also giving the subsidies to to equalize that uh, delta cost and all this right. now coming back to the service right. so actually practically if you say in this vehicles there is wear and tear parts are very less okay. meaning hardly, hardly brake liner very is there parts. very moving is only brake liner is a moving right. part where right. wear and tear will happen right. otherwise the motors are brushless which are no right. contacts they are rotor and BLDC. state yeah, bldc motors and this this is how it is there is no oil there is no carburetor spark plug right. like engines uh, nice. hundreds of parts here very few parts if you see they are on that five major parts motor con motor controller charger dc dc converter for the 12 volt right. these are the major parts and the most is the battery right. these are the major five parts rest is wiring harness and the chassis right. and plastic part. so very few parts and only the brake liner is a wear and tear part this is how the service is now you will say ki that means is the uh, everything is green no mm -hmm. this is not that because once vehicle start running on the road they will uh, meet up with some potholes or something there may be some stress on the cable connector may get damaged or some wiring harness or bulb or something so this these issues are there i am not saying that everything is green and then great not not that in in the especially in the lithium ion batteries the failure rate is very low we sold about 150 vehicles lithium ion and one battery was failed because of cell right. issue right. and that got replaced immediately from the hero that that is a backup okay. so warranty they've been, they've been upfront with their uh, yeah the only one failure i uh, i had right. in the whole one year for the and that got replaced so customer has no pain but we are now we will see how it, the lithium ion right. battery is right. progress over the period of time another point is that lithium ion batteries the connectors quality is still a issue because we are in recommending them to swap right but they are not to that extent to swap meaning right. i need to be honest when i am talking right. it so there is some improvement is required to to do that right. uh, connector quality and the and this otherwise rest vehicle is really awesome the I mean, drive train is really awesome battery doesn't have any issues right. and more than one year has happened one and a half year is before me started still going strong uh, uh, still is going strong let's hope for better and uh, right. what we'd also like to know is uh, at what uh, interval like uh, you know for most petrol uh, scooters you have to come back every 6 months or 1000 kilometers so what is the service schedule like for an electric vehicle for an electric scooter to the good question to actually for a lead acid you require to have a better service schedule very disciplined right. service schedule because right. lead acid battery need to be rotated to, to get a better uh, right. balance and all this thing lithium and there is only one battery right. and uh, but hero gives a three free, free services first second and fourth first is about 6 uh, 90 days and 120 days and 420 days these are the three free, free services right. later are paid services they are also not big 350 rupees we take 300 okay. 350 and in that we re adjust the brakes and reasonable i would say as compared yeah. as compared to a normal scooter where i would have to change my oil uh, this is extremely reasonable yeah. other uh, companies which you have your eyes on uh, just like you discovered hero electric and uh, a couple of other companies uh, what what which companies are those uh, could you name them yeah actually 10 years back three companies started one is right. hero 
other is yo bike right. which is uh, uh-huh. electrotherm yeah. and third one is ampere right. which is now is a part of grieves company right. okay these are the three companies out of that yo bike i think is uh, not uh, is i think they are focusing on rickshaw not on two wheeler right. so old players are two one is hero is right. a really good big company right. and yeah. i equally say ki ampere is also good mm-hmm. company because they have a vast experience with them right. okay that is the two companies which are they have seen that almost about 8 9 years to 10 years of hero right. and uh, other bo- sorry ampere both have seen the right. 10 years and they have a lot of data right. and actually now they should leverage on to it right. okay you that is one what what whatever utilize they learned and whatever earlier mistake and all this thing i see battery swapping is the is that the essential for a b2b customers right b2b meaning the meaning if you see we are getting good amount of customers let's say swiggy food panda right, right. uber eats and all this right. thing who are driving 150 km per day i really are getting amazed they are saying daily i is spending 300 rupees in petrol they saying give me the vehicle right. so so seriously to be honest i don't have vehicles which can go to 150 km right. per day you need that range that and problem. if you need that range you need then it cost goes up like very high so either quick charge or battery swapping oh, and two wheeler yeah money. and a two wheeler and also you need a very robust vehicles okay so i want to take one more name into this okay. which is avan motors which okay. i personally saw it wherever we have not seen i don't want to comment because it will be injustice without seeing the brand and right. all this thing right. so i have seen these three brands avan motors which is a pune based right. okay they have designed the vehicle is so robust is a very good for b2b market right. okay and there are, and i'll say ki, and they and many are are doing working with uh, sun mobility or many right. startups right. Uh, right. which uh, battery swapping and all this thing sun mobility is one name but there are many are coming up to uh, so battery swapping and electric will really solve the problem for a b2b right. customers and these companies are working on this so i give them a best of luck and uh, they should come fast i was yep. and uh, in, in this battery swapping which is the really need of the world